All right, back again, guys. Um, I just got kind of a quick project here in the shed that I'm gonna go over. Uh, so what we got here is just uh, like a 0102 Chevy 1500 truck harness, ran a 5.3 or 6 liter or 4.8 or whatever. Doesn't matter. And I like to trim these down, take out a bunch of stuff that isn't needed to make them standalone. And you pull out about half of these wires. And it's pretty easy, it looks daunting, but uh, first thing I do is strip all this uh, wire loom off. Got uh, LT1 swap here. They've got a good write up and pin out of the connectors. All you pretty much do is, that they made it really easy, the ones that are highlighted in blue here, so if we scroll down, uh, ones like that, PCM ignition supply. <coughs> you want to keep those ones and they go to an external source, so those would be to your key switch. And yellow ones, like uh, that one, uh, torque signal, sensor gram for EGR, a lot of this is emission stuff. All the ones that are highlighted in yellow can get pulled out. All you're doing is, I would start with blue connector here, pop it off, pull the back off so you can get it. Trace the wires down, orange and black, find it in there, depin it, pull it out back through the harness, onto the ground, onto the next and the next and the next, and there's a whole bunch. It's probably about 40% of the wires in there don't have to actually be in there. That's what I'm going to do. Strip all this off, pull the pins out that I don't need, chase them out, throw the wires on the ground, loom it back up. And then it's ready to go in the LS swapped vehicle of your choice. Yum. So, succeeded in making a bunch of spaghetti and a bunch of garbage. I got these little zip ties kind of every so often just to kind of keep the shape of the harness. It doesn't really look like much, but if you didn't have anything, then it could just be a big tangled ball and then you'd really be up a creek. Next, I'm gonna start referencing this. And like I said, we'll pop these covers off and I'll just, I usually just do one at a time. Pull out all the pins I don't need put it back together and then do the same on the other one and then you just end up with a bunch of loose wires here and then you can kind of pull them back and cut them off or throw the plugs away. It's your body harness connector and a couple other ones here. You need a few of these. Um, the GM stuff, pink is 12 volt hot usually. Yeah, we'll uh, just start pulling pins. Focus, focus. There's numbers on the top and bottom. And uh, that's what you're referencing here, all these pin numbers. So if you see, that's the uh, pin header. And uh, you just lift these up, these, and then this pin will push out through the back, pull it out, and then uh, make your way along. 